could you maybe tell me what are there any specific pointers that you remember that that women like India gave you that you feel like made you a better lover? Oh, this is good. Take your time. <clears throat> Take your time. That was like a huge thing. Most most young girls are very like come out the camera, you know, like they're just very like attack mode. Very like they think that they need to be they think they need to be more, you know, like more vigorous or more aggressive in order for it to be a good scene. No, that is not the case whatsoever. You need to feel passionate. And in order to have passion, you just need to slow down, feel the moment and like enjoy yourself, like truly enjoy yourself. But you can't do that if you're just trying to put, you know, put on a show, you know, you can't be putting on a show. I didn't win my first awards because I was putting on a show at all. It was literally because I was enjoying myself in the scene. And because I was having these women literally teach me, like, if you watch any of my old scenes, you're watching me learn how to have, how to have pretty much in real life, not just, you know, just not the camera just happened to be there technically, even though I'm acting in the other scenes, like that's all real. That was real. So, yeah. So, um, what are some of your favorite performers that you've worked with? Like if people were to go back and be like, okay, I want to like go check out some classic Shyla Jennings scene. <laughs> scenes. What would okay. you recommend? Um, what great pairings, um, really stick out for you? Okay, well, India is going to be my first one because she was my first scene ever. And then I worked with her throughout my entire career. Like she was always my stepmommy. Tell us how you got into this sordid business in the first place. Okay, well, I was 18. I was a struggling, struggling teenager. And I had a girlfriend of mine who was like, hey, because I, I live in San Antonio. I was like, she told me, you can make some money if you go to Houston and I know this photographer down there and he shoots nude, nude models. And I was like, mm, you know, I don't know. I don't know if that's for me. But then some time passed and I started getting like really interested in that kind of stuff. And I read Jenna Jameson's book and <laughs> some other stuff like that started watching like the porn awards. I was like, you know what? I'm going to check it out. So I went and literally within like the first five minutes of me being there, I just felt like I was meant to be there. <laughs> and I literally stripped off my clothes. I was wearing black high leather boots. They were my favorite boots. I never took them off. They were like, I wore them for like two years straight, I swear. Like 17, 18, 19 years old, three years. <laughs> so yeah, I'm 18 years old, taking off my clothes, slathering baby oil all over myself. And the photographer starts taking my pictures and stuff. I'm feeling myself. Smashing Pumpkins, I think, was playing. <laughs> and, wow, you <laughs> really have an eye, like a remembrance for details. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> That's funny. And when we got done, he went on to gfy.com. You know what that is? Oh, yeah, go for yourself.com. Yes. It's like yeah, a web. Yeah. So for those people who don't know, because a lot of people who are not in the industry listen to this, it's like a webmaster resource. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like a webmaster know. resource. Connect. Very, so, very big. Uh, yeah. So like they, they posted, he posted my pictures on there. Hustler saw them and was like, well, we want to buy them. And he asked me if I was okay with it. And I was like, you're joking, right? I thought, I didn't think it could be real. They did. They bought all, all my photo sets, in fact, that I took that day and put them on the cover of their magazine of the barely legal one. And then after that, I was like, well, shit, maybe this is like, maybe I have, there's something to this and I'm really enjoying myself and the money's pretty good. I was like, all right. So I called my parents literally that day <laughs> and I told them, I told them both. And, they and both how did that go? <clears throat> They're both very like uh, eccentric, uh, liberal people. <laughs> so they really didn't have a problem with it. They were just more like, well, I think they thought it was going to be a phase, to be honest with you. I really think at that point they thought, oh, well, it's just going to be a phase for her. Let her go have fun. No, it wasn't a phase. You know, then after, I mean, after that, it's kind of pretty much history because then Hustler flew me out there 
I was on the cover of their actual magazine. And then I just started doing magazine work with all these photographers and met Cam Smith, this manager, and uh, he got me more bookings. And that's pretty much how it all happened. I just started flying back and forth, flying back and forth. But with my parents, uh, they didn't really, they didn't care. It wasn't until probably like once I got started doing movies, which was years later, that's when they started to be like, oh, so you don't, you don't really plan on doing anything else. Right. And I was like, no, like, I don't want to do anything else. Like I'm setting goals for myself within the industry and I want to accomplish these. And so that's what I did. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.